Hey everyone, so it has been requested for me to do a picture day makeup tutorial, so that is what I'm doing for you guys today. And a couple tips before we get started. The first one is I recommend using shimmery eyeshadow instead of matte eyeshadow just because the flash from the camera, it's going to reflect off your eyeshadow and actually make your eyes look a little like wider and brighter and bigger and things like that. The second thing is going along the same lines of that, I would recommend doing a not so shimmery blush. You can put a little highlight on which is going to highlight your cheekbones, but right down here like your blush and your bronzer, I recommend it should be matte. And then also I wouldn't do a super glittery gloss, I would do more of a shiny gloss. I've just found that the way the light bounces off and stuff, it just makes it a little bit uh, prettier in pictures than if you have like a super chunky monkey glitter gloss now, on. Keep in mind, this might be a little bit more dramatic than you are comfortable wearing for your picture day, or it might not be dramatic enough for, for you. You can tweak it however you like. This is just the products I had that I decided to use for this, and I feel like if I was going to picture day tomorrow, this is how I would do my makeup. Last tip before we get started is that the flash is going to wash you out just a tiny bit, so with each step you're doing, maybe do it a tiny bit darker than you would when you're just looking in the mirror what you think looks good. So a little bit more blush, maybe define your brows a little bit more, put a little extra um, like shadow in the crease. Also your lashes, sometimes they tend to like disappear in pictures, so you don't have to wear fake lashes or anything just for picture day, but I do recommend doing two coats of two different mascaras. I find that the way they layer, it makes it a little bit more dramatic and you can have super long lashes without even having to use false lashes. So, um, oh, and last thing, I know I said that was the last thing, but I wouldn't recommend doing a super nude lip or a light gloss. I find that in pictures and flash photography, a color looks a little bit better. So it doesn't have to be like a super duper like red or deep lip, but just using a light gloss with a little bit more pigment. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now and show you guys how I created this tutorial. As always, you want to start off with a base or an eye primer. So I am using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And then you want to take your color compact. I'm using one by Bobbi Brown, which is a shimmer brick compact in the color Beach. I'm going to take the lightest color with a fluffy MAC 224 blending brush and apply this under my brow as well as in the inner corner of my lid. And then I'm going to mix the two medium colors with a 239 flat shader brush. So I'm just going to get both of those colors on my brush and then pat that onto my lid. Then with my finger, I'm just going to apply a little bit more of the lightest color to the inner corner. Then put the medium blend eyeshadows on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to take the two deepest colors from the palette with a crease brush. This is a MAC 222, which I believe has been discontinued, but you can use a 217. And I'm going to use windshield wiper motions and circular motions to apply this color in my crease. And again with the 239 and the darkest colors on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the deepest color. This is a MAC eyeshadow in Beauty Marked and I'm going to use the 222 crease brush and start applying this in the outer corner. This is totally an optional step but I wanted to deepen my look up a little bit and I find that if you use a darker purple like this it actually looks a little bit better I think than using just another dark brown. I find it gives it a little bit more dimension and it's going to look warmer in pictures. Then one last time take the 239 and apply this deeper color on the outer corner of the lower lash line and you can blend all the harsh edges out a little bit more if you would like to. Now I'm going to take an eyeliner. This is the Josie Marin eyeliner in chocolate and I'm going to line my waterline as well as my upper lash line. I am a huge fan of black eyeliner. I pretty much don't ever use chocolate but for this look I think it suits it really well and I don't recommend pulling on your eye like this but it was just the best way for me to create a straight line so for special occasions it's okay then curl your lashes and apply one coat of a volumizing mascara I'm using Maybelline falsies mascara so I'm just going to apply that start at the base and wiggle the brush up to give a little bit more volume Then you want to go over it with a lengthening mascara, which the one I'm using is by Benefit and it's called They're Real. Both of these are in the blackish shades that they make. That's just going to make your lashes stand out a little bit better 
on camera and then put what's remaining on your brush on your lower lash line. To define your cheekbones, you want to take a bronzer, and I am using the Urban Decay Bronzer in Baked and an angled blush brush, and apply this color into the contours or the hollows of your cheekbones and blend it up towards your temples. Then, as far as blushes go, I recommend using one in the pink tone family. So I'm using Sweetness by MAC with the MAC 129 blush brush, and I'm just going to start by applying this on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it back into the bronzer. A quick tip is to take your foundation brush and run it right along the sides of your nose and then under your eyes and that is just going to make the spacing of your blush perfect. Then to highlight I'm using High Beam by Benefit, just doing three dots on each cheekbone and blending it out with my fingers. And for lip color, like I said, I recommend using one that has a good amount of pigment. This is Rose Lip Gloss by Laura Mercier. The last step is to take a concealer brush and trace the outer edge of your lip. This is just going to define your lips a little bit more and make them pop when you smile for pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to do a picture day tutorial, film it and leave it as a video response below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!